This video will walk through the Gallus Golf Pages feature to create native pages within your custom branded mobile app. So first we're going to take a look at the user experience and then we're going to go over the actual dashboard setup. So if you're just looking for the dashboard setup you can skip ahead in this video. Here we are on the home screen of one of our apps you can see that there are a number of buttons and the user can tap on any one of them to get to a specific place. Now historically what many of our apps have done is they've created buttons on their home screen that link directly to their website. This has a number of advantages. The main one being you just have to maintain your website and then anytime you publish a change to it it's automatically going to update in the app. I'll show you what I mean when I tap on this membership website button it's going to take me to an in-app browser so I'm on an iPhone so this is going to be Safari specifically and uh, on Android it would be Google Chrome either way you're still technically within the app but you can see it's a browser and when I go in I can interact with the page same as normal and even if I want to get more details on from another page I can tap and it'll take me there Whenever I'm finished, I just hit done in the top left, and it's going to take me back to the home screen of my app. Now this is great if you just want to set it up and forget about it, but many of our customers want to take another step. You want to set up a page within your app that feels like it's a part of your app, it's native, and you want to have control over the content within it. That's why we created the pages module. So. I'm going to tap on this membership options button instead and we're going to see that it's going to take me to a page with my two options, my flex memberships and my golf packages winter sale. I can tap on either one and it's going to take me to a page that's fully designed um, within the dashboard of the Gallus Golf, the Gallus Golf dashboard. Um, you can come in here, you can set it up, you see that there's different size text tappable links you can tap down here at the bottom to purchase now and I mean it will take you to the in-app browser if you need to go to maybe like a e-com website or something like that to finish out um, but the point here is you now have the ability to come in here and set up a completely custom page within your app you can also of course just include a button on the home screen and it's going to take you directly to a page too. So you can either take to a subfolder or you can take them directly to a page. So that's what the user experience of pages is like, but the question is how do you actually set these up? I'm going to bring up our admin dashboard. So here I am within it. I am going to click the pages tile on the quick start page, manager.gallusgolf.com, or I can also come under customize app and hit pages. Either way, it's going to take me to my pages dashboard where I can see all the pages that I have set up, and I can create a new one at the top right by clicking create. Uh, that'll get me into an empty one where I can set it up. I'm going to go into one that's already been set up just so you can see some of the details that have been filled in. So for instance, I'm going to go into that Flex 23 memberships one that we were looking at. So you can see in here that we have a number of fields. I'm going to go through them one by one. First, you can upload a header image. The header image shows up at the top of the page. It's going to span the width of it, and uh, it can either be a JPEG, a PNG, or a GIF at a 3 to 2 ratio. So that's basically a landscape image. Um, Make sure it's under two megabytes. Uh, if you get a little big, it might tell you that you just need to get the file a little smaller. Next, you're gonna put in a title. The title appears at the top of the page, and it also appears in any searches that you're gonna have within this actual admin dashboard. So for instance, later on we'll see when we add it to app navigation, you're gonna choose from a dropdown to find it. It's gonna be this title that you put in there um, and also, if you want to like link to another page from within this page's dashboard, you can do, do that as well. Uh, it's going to be searching for that title. Now, down below is the real power of pages. It's this content section. You can come in here and you can put in a number of different types of text. So you can see here, one, I mean, we have a header at the top. 
So what I did there was I used this heading tab. You can highlight it, you can hit heading, and then you can choose either from the biggest heading, maybe a medium sized one, or you can do normal and it's gonna get your text down below. You notice this whole time it's updating on the right so you can get a preview of what it's looking like. So I'm gonna get that back to a heading one and it's right there, good to go. You can also do bold text. So that would be like this where it says our flex memberships currently sold out. Um, you can do italicized. You can also do links. So this is another really powerful tool. So right here we've got Jessica uh, at golfinnisbrook.com, her email, uh, but we want it to be tappable so that the users can actually go in and get straight to their email client. So when you highlight it, you can choose either between an external URL or an existing page. So that means like if I have another page, like for instance, I had that winter memberships page set up, I could link to that too by selecting existing page. External URL, you're gonna either use like a, um, like a typical website. So that would be like HTTPS, colon slash slash and then you can do you know like for instance gallusgolf.com that would be a typical web link that you would do you could also do a telephone number so you could do tel colon and then just put in the number if you want to do an extension you can do a column or a comma and uh, you can do whatever extension it is and it'll take them directly there. And then finally, as you saw, you can do a mail to, and that is straight up an email as well. So a number of options within there. Another thing you can do is you can do a strike through text if you ever need to do that. That's basically like if I come in and I say uh, strike through, highlight it, and hit strike through, it puts a line through the middle of it. So that's another thing. If you want to like indicate a discount or something like that, super helpful. Uh, you can do a bulleted list, which would essentially look like this. And then you just like type in something, hit enter, and then it's gonna do another one down below. Same thing, you can do an ordered list, which would be numbers. You can also choose an emoji which would give you a picker where you can select any emoji that you want. And you can also upload an image down below too. Uh, the image, the difference between this image and the one up top is the one up top spans the width of the page while the image down below in the page content section is gonna be just a little skinnier. So it's gonna look like it's a part of your page too. Now down below, we can also add a call to action button. So while you could add like a tappable URL within here, it's not an actual button. Like a lot of times users are looking for a button that they can tap on. So like for instance, this purchase now, um, you can come down here, put some text for it, which would be what it says on the button. And then you can choose your link type and then the options down below will depend on your choice. So when you look at this, there are a number of spots you can go to. You can go to the tea time booking engine set up for your app. You could go to a leaderboard, a custom URL like we've seen, the offer locker, loyalty, mobile check-in, FMB. I mean, the list goes on and on. The other thing that you could do also is, of course, you could go to a different page, which would allow you to link up to any other page that you have set up. So if you wanted to, for instance, say, uh, oh, you know what, I wanna hook them up to my golf packages page, I could say um, golf packages, info and then that would uh, link it up directly to pages so you can really create like a tree of all of your pages within here so that is how you would actually set it up you of course need to hit save to save your work but once you do it's going to show up in your listing page but that's only part of the job now you actually have to get it live on your app so what you're gonna do for that is you're gonna to go to app navigation, which is of course the place where you set up your home screen and side menu of your app. You're gonna hit the plus mark at the top left, 
and then it's going to give you a number of choices. So I talked about linking to a URL in the beginning, but for this we're going to link to an app page. We're going to say we want to link it up to pages, and then we'll get our drop down list of all the pages we have set up. So if I wanted to link directly to one, I would hit which page I want it to be. Um, come in here, put a title for it. and hit save, which would then bring it up in my list on the left, and then I could hit either add to home screen or add to side menu. It's gonna show up in the preview on the right, and then you can just drag and drop wherever you want it to be. And then you're done. Uh, you might have to force quit and restart your app to get that to show up. Now the other option, of course, is if you want it to be like a sub menu, uh, like I showed initially, mm -hmm. The one I showed initially was the uh, membership options one. I created a folder for that. So when you hit this green plus mark, instead of going link to an app page, you would hit custom folder. Name the initial button that they would see on the home screen. And then once you do that, it takes you to a sub menu where you can hit a green plus mark, say open app page and then you can choose pages to select your page. Uh, this information would be like the image that displays on the right, and then uh, you can do a label, which would be down below, like it says flex memberships, and then your description would show up below that. So that's another option that you could set up, but once you have it set up, it's the exact same thing. You would come in and hit the icon for it to get it up there. Now once these are linked up though, you can always go back to pages to edit the content of it and you're not going to have to do anything back here on app navigation as long as your page tree has stayed the same. So you just have to do that initial step of connecting the two and then you can just manage your content directly from pages. So a lot of information but a great new tool from Gallus Golf to set up the content within your app and really empower your users to have a great native experience. We're excited to watch how you use it. Um, if you have any questions or need some assistance, you can always give us a call at 888-426-8124 extension 2. You could access our knowledge base at support.gallusgolf.com or if you want to email us, you can email us uh, at support at gallusgolf.com whatever way works best for you. Thanks so much for watching this video and hope you have a great rest of your day.